obviously this wouldn't be a podcast from Tribe if we didn't talk about influencers. So, you know, what has been your approach uh, to working with influencers more recently? Like, and again, what have you found that works and doesn't work? Would love to hear about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, influencers have been a part of our company since day one, to be honest. Our co-founder, mm -hmm. um, you know, our, that brought our method um, through, Stephen Pastorino, he had been working with uh, models from, from the very beginning. His, you know, he kind of caught his break training Victoria's Secret models early on, and that kind of word of mouth spread really kind of helped launch us in New York, hands down. The, the power of that was amazing. So, you know, we've always had an influencer side to us. Where we have gone over the years is we refuse to work with any type of influencer um, that is not a believer in our methodology, right? So what we do not do is we do not randomly pay people to just say that they were doing p -Volf. And we've gotten better and we've gotten stronger. You know, you can try, yes, this is, you know, this is your space. So you know what this means, but, but we are a mission driven company, right? And we, we believe we are going to change the fitness industry, turn it on its head for exactly what we've talked about for this past hour, you know, about understanding your body, knowing your body and, and being able to make it stronger and make pain less of a, of an obstacle in people's lives. And if we just paid young, beautiful models to say that they did p um, that's going to backfire in a major way. So yep. we believe in building relationships. Um, our influencer marketing team is, is top notch and, you know, they have to do private trainings. We have to talk to them. They have to be able to speak and understand about our brands. And we have relationships with our influencers. These are not people that it's just transactional. Um, they, they are in our studios in LA and in New York. Um, they're reaching out to us when they're launching companies because we we're we're supporters because they are they believe in our methodology. So we're really proud of that. You know, we've worked with some massive names. You know, Naomi Campbell did a uh, a spot with us on on Instagram Live during the pandemic. We've trained with you know Kate Bosworth. Um, you know the Iskra Lawrences of the world. You know it, it's we've we've been really. I think particular in who we want to work with. We want to work with people that are positive um, influencers in the world that, you know, we have to look at what their platform speaks to as well. So yeah, you could have, you know, 15 million followers, but you could have a message that's not great, that doesn't align yeah. with what we want and we're not going to go there. Um, and we're proud of that. We've, we've walked away from a lot of major names and major opportunities that could have probably spiked our growth at three times the rate. And we just collectively said, we're not going to do it. Um, yeah. so we're proud of that. We're really proud of that. It's definitely the approach that we've seen work consistently over time. So I think that you can have kind of short term spikes here and there. But I think the only way that you build significant long-term value from um, from people is when they are active supporters of the brand and they do authentically believe in the mission. And, and they're going to be supportive of that mission for a really long time, not just because they got paid to post about some new campaign you're launching next month. So Absolutely. love that.